y squared are both polynomial. You add them together, you get a polynomial. You subtract one, you get a polynomial. So again, the xy plane is my domain. I can plug in any numbers I want. My range, on the other hand, is not just all real numbers. Because what's going to be true about x squared and y squared? Always positive. So they're always positive or zero. So the smallest value that the function g might reach is what? Negative one. Negative one. Negative one is the smallest value that z might equal. So z could be anything greater than that. Because you can plug in any big number for x and y, and you can get bigger numbers. But it's not going to get any smaller the negative one. Um, the limit as I approach zero, zero is also negative one because this polynomials are continuous functions. And so because the function is continuous, the limit is going to be what you get when you plug in the point. So plug the point in. wrap up by doing example three real quickly. State the domain. Okay, I know I've skipped these two limits for the moment. I'm going down to state the domain. In this case, we are not going to have something that is continuous. So my domain is involving tangent and sine. Well, I mean, the function is involving tangent and sine. Tangent is undefined when cosine is equal to zero, okay? So cosine of y over four is equal to zero at any odd multiple of pi over two. So y over 4 cannot equal, sorry, I, I, let, me, let me rewrite this. I, the words I said were correct. But, uh, cosine of y over 4 equals 0 when y over 4 is equal to any odd multiple of pi over 2. So that means that y if y equaled 4 times an odd multiple of pi over 2, so any odd multiple of 2 pi, so what would that mean? Mm -hmm. 2 pi would be an odd multiple of 2 pi. 6 pi would be an odd multiple of 2 pi. 10 pi would be an odd multiple of 2 pi. Negative 2 pi, negative 6 pi. Ooh, what does odd mean? Odd number. Is that an odd number? That's <laughs> wrong. I'm sorry, what? What do you mean by odd? Like odd numbers are 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. They're not divisible by 2. Odd numbers are not divisible by 2. Right, right, right. They're in integers, not divisible by two. All right, so my my yeah, domain. Okay, those are all even numbers. Is oh, no. y not yeah. equal to odd numbers? And a way to represent odd numbers is to write an even number plus or minus one. So even numbers are multiples of two. So if I write 2n, that's an even number. If I put plus 1, it'll be odd. We could also put minus 1. So y can't be an odd multiple, or sorry, an odd multiple of 2 pi. Y can't be an odd multiple of 2 pi. 
So graph geometrically what this means, it's the xy plane with horizontal lines deleted at y equals odd multiples of 2 pi. Okay, that's my domain. range, though, is actually all real numbers because tangent, you know, the graph of tangent goes from negative infinity to positive infinity. And I know I'm adding sine to that, and the sine is bound, but when you add it to the tangent, it can end up being anything. So the range of this function is z is any real number. And for the first limit, if I try to plug pi in, I just get tangent of pi over 4 plus sine of pi, which would be 1 plus 0. And then the next one is pi 2 pi, so tangent of 2 pi over 4 plus sine of pi is going to equal tangent of pi over 2 plus 0, but this is undefined. So, the, and actually it's tangent soars to positive and negative infinity, so the, the limit is undefined. So that, the second limit is undefined because as you plug in numbers close, points close to that, the tangent is going to be approaching pi, tangent of pi over 2, which one direction you're going to infinity, one direction you're going to negative infinity. So if we did graph that one, it would be a little, little crazy.